Grab your towel, have it handy. We're going to start off against the wall. I'd like you to stretch your calves. Come to this position here against the wall. And what you're going to do is put the ball of your foot up against the wall, heel stays down. And then with your hips, I'd like you to push in towards the wall. This is a really good calf stretch. For anyone who does a lot of walking or running, this is something you want to do prior to doing those two types of activities. Even if you're an avid gardener, you know, you need to stretch very, very important. And I would rather you become an ambidextrous gardener, gardening with both hands. Otherwise, what happens if you're raking with your left side all of the time, that side's going to get sore. So you want to mix it up a little bit. If you're weeding with your right side, always bent over and weeding, okay? And you know, they have those great little knee pads now that you can wear. Yes, and they help a lot so you can kneel right down. So don't stand over, you don't bend over and weed. You get right down to that level, okay? I have a little bottom pad that I use that I sit on and do my weeding. There you go, okay, stretch. Bring your hips right forward to the wall or to the point where you feel the stretch. If you're already in this position and you feel a stretch through the gastronemus area, that's where you stay, right there. If you want maximum stretch, a little bit more, a little bit more, come on up to here. You're up on the ball of the other foot too. The maximum stretch. Eyes are forward, hips are forward. That's biomechanically correct, okay? I do a lot of this because I have cameras to address because I want to make eye contact with you people, okay? But ideally, you should be in this position here. Okay, let's try that once more each side. Just quickly, quickly, come on up. Ball of the other foot, hips are in. Eyes are forward, hips are forward. Same thing over to the other side, too. This is also good for the shin region, okay? If you have suffer from shin splints, chances are your calves maybe need a little bit more stretching. There you go, and hold that right there. Gosh, if you get too close to this wall, it's hard to focus. You may need glasses, I don't know. Okay, come back to center. And if you're ready, let's concentrate on stretching out the groined area. Adductors, work that back leg back, all the way back, and come on down. Okay, until you feel a stretch, and that's where you hold the position right there. Okay, in this position right here, you'll feel it right in through there, okay? Work on your balance if you like. Whatever's most comfortable for you to do, move your arms around. Okay, and if you want to support, remember, never near a joint. Always mid-thigh where you're nice and strong. A little too strong, you think, okay, well, we can work on that area. Up and over to the other side, same thing. Work that back leg back, all the way down. Okay, and lunge into it. Shoulders stay in line with your hips, very, very important. Okay, and drop directly down. There you go, hold it right there. And then come join me right down here and let's sit with our bottoms on our heels, sit back as far as you comfortably can. Okay, if you can get your bottom all the way back, then I'd like you to support your upper body's weight and just come to this position here. This is a good stretch for the quadricep region here, which also in turn helps to stretch and warm up the muscles in and around the knee joint. Okay, so in this position here now, a little more flexible, come back down. Watch your lower backs there. Keep your chin as though you're holding that orange or apple right there, good for you. Hold it right there. That feels good, actually, for the quadriceps. Okay, there you go. And if you're ready, come forward, round your shoulders, round your spine, push back, and roll up. Walk your hands back to your feet. Check those laces. Make sure they're nice and tight. And roll up. And all the way up, all the way up overhead. Stretch and reach right and left. Once more each side. Right and left hands come down by your side. If you're ready, grab a sip of water. We'll start our cardiovascular segment. Okay. Let's just begin by stepping side to side. Okay, there you go. Good for you. We like to start off very slowly here, and that's how you should start your activities at home. For those of you who are just watching the show and not participating, please remember, too, if you do anything athletic, please take the time to warm up. Do a, a movement that's designed to increase blood flow, increase circulation, and then go into your stretching. Okay, and I'm serious, even if you are just gardening or curling or even playing golf, very important to stretch and warm up. Okay. Good posture. Oh, everyone just grew an inch when I said that, I know. Are you still doing your posture checks during the day? Every couple of hours doing a posture check just to make sure that you're sitting properly or, or you're standing properly, your head is back, shoulders are down, you're not rounding. Okay, try to do that a couple of times each and every day, especially if you have a sedentary job. Bring your arms up a little bit more, a little bit higher, a little more pep in your step, come down a little bit lower, there you go. Now remember, if you want to do high impact aerobics, what do you do? You add a bounce into all the exercises that we're doing. Okay, let's count down to change the exercise. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, and one. I'd like you to bring the knee up to waist height only. If your back is strong, then gladly take it up a little bit higher. Bring it all the way up. Okay, but if your back is not strong, just to waist height, that's good. Arms in five, four, three, two, one touch beneath the bent knee and elbows come up. There you go, so you're flying. Okay. Good. I have some questions for you today. What facial feature typically contains about 550 hairs? Think about this. Something that both men and women have, that's a clue. It's actually an eyebrow. But you know, I guess that depends on whether you pluck them or not. <laughs> okay, and the fashions nowadays seem to be really, really thin eyebrows, so they probably don't have 550. But the typical eyebrow has 550 hairs. Okay, work the arms up. It was funny, I don't know why this is, but it seems that every young girl goes through a stage of plucking her eyebrows and plucking them too small. Okay, are you, are you, is that your problem? You know what, everyone does it. I was 13. Let's count down to change and I'll embarrass myself and tell you the story. Five, four, three, two, one. Heel comes forward, let your arms move naturally. <sighs> Big deep breaths, okay. I was in grade eight, 13, and decided that I should pluck my eyebrows. I had no idea how to do it. I had no idea how to follow the contour of my natural brow or anything like that. So I plucked them. They started about here, about the center of my eye, and went to about here. And basically, one hair joined one hair joined one hair. And I remember I was in Vancouver visiting my parents, and I got a ride home with my girlfriend's older brother. And I think he was in grade 12. And so we were driving along, and there were about three people in the car. There, were two, there was Ron, myself, and then two other girls. And I was sitting in the back with one of the girls, and we'd been talking, and we stopped at a gas station. It was evening, it was dark. We stopped at the gas station, <laughs> and underneath the lights, she took one look at me, and she went, my word, you have no eyebrows. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. And it's quite interesting, because I know a lot of young girls who are in that same age range, 13 to 14, and they too. Let me see, how many are there? About five of them that I know, and they've all done the same thing. I don't know if it's biological or what it is. So if you have overplucked your eyebrows, don't worry, they do grow back. Count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach down and up, push down, work the triceps. Do you know how many chambers there are in the human heart? Can you guess? There are four. And we're exercising all of them right now because this is our cardiovascular segment, our heart and lung segment. Okay, push down there, arms, strong arms, good for you. Work around in the semicircle. Okay. And if you're ready, let's change our exercise en français. One to ten, one is un. Two, three, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Okay, I'd like you to touch across, right across the foot. Okay, work a little bit of the adductor here. Touch, across, across. Hips are forward. There you go. Across, across as far as you comfortably can. There you go. Count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one, reach and pull. Reach with those arms. Good for you. Now, do you know what four tastes humans can distinguish? Do you know? Sweet is one, good. Yes, sour. You know what the other two are? Salt and bitter. Interesting. Count down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Lift the knee across the body. Come forward and back, rest your fingertips. If your neck is feeling a little tense, push your arms down by your side. Good for you, there you go. Arms in. Five, four, three, two, one. I'd like you to bring the arms down. Both arms, palms facing one another. There you go. Okay, bring those legs right across the body. 
you happen to know the most popular registered dog in North America? This one surprised me. It's actually a poodle. Interesting. Countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs apart and lift to the rear. Okay, the ball of the foot stays in full contact, though. High intensity. They don't. They lift up. But at low impact level here. There you go. Count down to arms. Five, four, three, two, one. I'd like you to reach down by the side and then up. Palms are facing you. Good job. Keep going. Do what you can. Please count with me, too. You know why. You can't count. If you're too winded, you're gasping for air, you're working too hard. Okay, you're burning carbohydrates, not fats. If you want fat burning, you want to go for a longer period at a more moderate level. Work within your heart rate target zone. We'll be showing you the chart after this segment. And two, we always give off the address here, the everyday workout. That'll come up after our SOS segment today. So have a piece of paper and a pen or pencil handy. Today's SOS is tummy torture time. Yes, you've requested that. Okay, if you're ready, let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, good. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs together. Concentrate on those rears. Count down to arms. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Push down and then up. Push down, up. Do what you can. Keep moving. There you go. Do you know what color scallops 35's eye eyes are? First of all, I didn't know that scallops had 35 eyes, but they do. 35 eyes, if they each had an eyebrow, 35 times 550, the amount of hairs they have. Of course, they don't. But do you know what color their eyes are? Blue. Count down a change. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'd like you to bring your knees up and come forward in the movement. Just come forward. There you go. And back. Good for you. Forward and back. Okay, roll through the entire foot. Good. Now you're probably thinking, Cynthia, when the heck am I ever going to use that information? You know scallops have 35 eyes and they're all blue. You never know. You never know when that could spark a conversation. People may think you odd, but it's an interesting little piece of trivial information. Countdown. Arms five, four, three, two, one. Beneath that bent knee, big circles again. Can you make circles? All the little people out there, big O's. Good. Knees come up as high as you comfortably can. If you do have lower back problems, just to here. Okay, last 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great. Good job. Okay, locate your pulse either in your wrist or in your carotid artery. Please don't push too hard. That may give you an inaccurate reading. Count for 10 seconds, beginning now. Okay, stop counting, have a look at our heart rate target zone chart. This is the chart that I mentioned earlier. This is the safe range for you to work within. Now, if you have any health problems, you wanna check with your doctor, he may have a different range. Tummy torture time, you will need water, a towel, and a little bit of energy. See you right back. I won't hide this time, I promise. down inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae. Use those tummy muscles. We're going to stay at one level for a while because I would like all of you to roll down very, very slowly, very controlled, very good. I'm impressed, that's great. Okay, but now you have to come back up just as slowly as you went down, just as slowly. Okay, now if you have difficulty doing that, just roll down and then roll over onto your side and push your way up. That's fine, that's okay. You're getting half the exercise in. That's better than those couch spuds out there who are just watching us drinking coffee and eating what? Eating donuts? 
boy, you have a lot of nerve. <laughs> okay, rolled up. You know, I have to thank you, too, for sticking with me through the years. And there were times where I know you thought I had gone away, where we were into reruns for a couple of years. But thanks to your support, you're the reason that I'm back on the air. So thank you so much for all of your letters and faxes to the various stations. It worked. They listened. Thank you so, so much. I was sitting at home for two years just waiting, just waiting. Okay, and now we're doing our own production. I hope you enjoy it. It's been a, a real learning experience for me. It's been very, very interesting, and I have to thank everyone who's helped out with this production, getting it off the ground, getting it to the air. Thank the stations for buying it. Okay, there we go. Roll down and roll up. Okay, this is our last time now. Very, very slowly. You're doing really well. You are. Okay, roll down. Slowly, slowly. Okay, you ready? All the way down now. All the way down, all the way down. Good for you. Okay, and your feet are placed firmly on the ground. What we're going to do is we're going to do some upper, middle, and lower work. Put your hands here or here, and I'd like you to just come up slightly. If you need to support your neck, remember, just let your head rest in your hands or your arms, okay? And try not to tighten up your neck muscles. I know it's difficult, but think about your body. Exercise is not all just jumping around and smiling and having fun. You really do have to concentrate in order to make sure that you're getting full benefit of the exercise. For example, right now, what I need you to concentrate on at both levels is a contraction of the upper, middle, and the lower abdominals. Okay, contract all three. Now, you can do this exercise just but with momentum doing that, okay? That's not what we want to do. That's why we do it so slowly here, to make sure that you're doing it properly so that you're going to be injury-free and so you're going to get the results because nothing makes me sadder than seeing you exercise and try so hard and put that effort in and not get the results that you're looking for. But please be patient, too. It will take time. But you know what? Like all good things in life, good things take a long time. They really do. And if something sounds too good to be true, like losing 10 pounds in one week, you know what? It probably is. I'd say 9.9 .9 times out of 10, it's too good to be true. Rest your head in your arms if you like. My neck was getting a little bit sore there. Okay, and rest. Okay, up, lift, contract, hold, and release. Okay, let's do five more. Four, they do half above. And three, and two, and last one. Exhale on the way up, and inhale. Okay, lower leg lifts, here we go. Bring the one leg up, then the other. You can press your feet if you like. Most important, feel the contraction right here. Please don't put your hands here. It's too tempting to cheat. There you go. There you go. Okay, cross here, cross here right here, whatever's most comfortable for you. And across here. Squeeze and release. Or what you can do is place your hands on the lower abdominal region. Feel that area tightening up. Okay. Now, if you have had a C-section, remember, check with your doctor prior to starting an exercise program. We're off to commercial break. So soon, I know, do five more and then get ready for your cool down. Good job. Okay, let's roll down inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae. No, this is not tummy torture time. We already did that. This is your cool down. Just work those abdominal muscles one last, well, two last times, because we have to get up too. Okay, roll down very slowly, very controlled. Okay, and let's do some pelvic tilts. Legs are about a fist distance apart. And you're going to roll up your spine. Okay, remember, if things get going too easy in your life, chances are you might be going downhill. Okay, life is full of challenges and you have to meet those challenges, rise to the occasion. And listen, don't ever be scared about asking questions. I know a lot of times at the workout workshops, people are shy and they come up afterwards and ask questions rather than share it with the group. So if you have an opportunity to ask someone a question, you need information, please don't be scared to ask. Okay, there you go, roll up and down. And if you find that life is very challenging right now and it's moving at a clip just a little too fast for your liking, slow it down. Take a time out. We tell children to do that all the time. Take a time out. Calm down. Slow down. We need to do that as adults, too. Call our own timeouts. The great thing about being an adult and being a human adult is that we can learn and we can change our behavior. If you find that you're a very temperamental person and you get very emotional, 
loud about things, you can control that. You can change that. You can make those changes. That's one of the great things about being human. So people always say, I'm only human. And I go, that's great that you're human. It's not only human. Okay, you're putting restrictions on yourself when you say that. Okay, roll down very, very slowly. Do what you can. Walk your feet out. Work your way up. There's that last little abdominal work, but if you're working on good posture, remember you're going to be working on those abdominals all the time. Sit cross-legged or, or whatever position is most comfortable for you. And then I'd like you to take the wrist of your right hand, pull it across your body, and take your ear over to the left side. Okay, try to keep your shoulders down as best you can. Look up with your eyes and hold that. This is a good little neck stretch, very safe. You can also do this same stretch by clasping the hand behind the body, and that'll give you a little different stretch. Same thing over to the other side. And hold the stretch right there. Okay, and come back to center. Let's try it behind the body. I'd like to thank you for exercising with me today. My name is Cynthia Kerlock. Until next time, please take care, be good, and challenge yourself. Don't be scared. Bye.